panels on the door panel, so it's sharp to peel up two little, two little screw areas on the uh, door handle and the lock. First one's right here. Okay, you get down there, see it? Okay. Next one's right here. Too close. one here move it forward and then out a little bit okay now come down here there's a little purple thing so you just move that out of the way with your finger like that and it'll come straight up okay now it's off remove, remove, remove your uh, connector push down this thing right here pull out gently part here, same thing. Forward a little bit and then up. Connector. Tabs right there. Okay. Alright. That's out. Okay, now we got that done. Where's my damn screwdriver? Okay. One more screw. Ooh. Or not. Never mind. That's one for your door handle thing. Once you get the door panel off, you're going to take this off too. But Okay, now the next thing we're going to take off is a speaker. Shove your little thing down in there. Gently pry it. Okay, now it's, now it's out. Work your way around. There you go. Show your little tabs in one piece. Really, it's only these two that hold it. These other two here hook inside this. Couple more screws to take off. Right here. These are all the same length screws, so it doesn't matter where you put them. But right there is fine. Now I'll try not to hold it by the bottom. That's where the, speed, that's where the microphone is. Okay, three screws. And these are just. These are just the ones holding the door panel on. Now you gotta take the speaker off. That seems to be a little bit easier. That way you don't mess nothing up. Now the bronze screws go back, or the brass, whatever you call them. They go back in the speaker. It's pretty easy to identify it. They are a different, uh, different type of screw. They only fit one way. Okay, three screws to that. We're doing this, try not to puncture the uh, little foam there. Make your sound sound terrible. Okay, pull it off. It's really easy. Pause. Stop. All right, so now we're ready to take the door panel off. What we're gonna do here? Down at the bottom, you got like a little lip you can put your fingers in. Gently pry out on that. Just like that. Same thing right here. Use the bottom lip of the, the uh, door, the door jam, to help you out a little bit. Work your way up. Okay. Now, for the most part, we're attached. So go ahead and shove all your connectors that might be hanging out. Shove them back inside, and we're going to lift straight up and back and forth a little bit. It's still hooked up, so can you see this? Come here. See that blue thing? Yeah, just slide it up or down. Okay, now it's off the door. 
And now we get to this. Little tabs right up here. Push it in, pull it, off it comes. There's door panel. Alright. So I'm going to take this little uh, speaker. Okay. Easy enough to get off, but it does have to come off unless you just want to rip it or rip off your barrier right here, which we don't really want to do. It makes it look like crap. Once again, these screws are specific to this part right here. So. so, one place they'll go. Now, this crap right here is kind of a pain. I've already hit it off before, so it should come off pretty easy. But you got Sticky adhesive on here. Just work at it. Try not to try not to stretch out your barrier. speaker part, this might be kind of difficult to do without stretching the plastic because that crap's really on there. Yeah, it's on there again. Oh, God. This I would recommend. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, no matter what you do. Okay, I'm just using this for giggles because I'm bored. Now, really, on the motor, all you have to do is just loosen these up a little bit. A couple turns should do it. This one's not really that long, I just had to put a different bolt in it because one of my other ones got long. Okay, so the motor's disconnected, mechanically anyway. Now you're going to wind up taking this whole thing off because with the replacement part I got here, there's already um, clips, brand new clips for you. Okay, so you just push this, up we go, shove that in there. Now here comes the painful part, is you're going to have to take your window off first. I mean, it's easy, there's only two bolts for it. Oh god. You can do it again? No. Okay. Oh. Well, lucky me. This goes good. Oh. Okay, for some reason it actually went up all the way. That's weird. Okay, two more 10 millimeter bolts right here. If I had a socket, I would use it. Alright, what the hell. I like doing things the hard way. Now you're going to need to hold on to your window, especially, can you really see that, that close? Yeah, you can see it. You're not even, okay, whatever. You don't need to see all that. That's, okay. Now the window's not heavy itself, it's actually a pretty light window. So, I estimate probably only about maybe, God, maybe it, if at all, eight pounds maybe total. It's really light. And right here, you're still able to get access to it pretty well with your fingers. They're kind of long witted screws. They're pretty long here. Okay. So, I'd say maybe an inch long, 10 millimeter. So, just throw them down your door. 
because you'll be needing those exact ones when you put back in. And they are pretty much precision fit, so you don't have to do it one time. I mean, you don't have to do any alignment after you're done with this. It's really easy to work on. Just get to that point's a pain in the ass. Okay, we're going to drop the window back down a little bit. Well, that'll drop all by itself. Okay, so at this point, the window is ready to come out. We just have to take care of this little problem right here. This. This part here needs to come out. And it's really easy to do, so don't freak out. Let's go pull it up a little bit. Okay, that's about as far as you need to go with it. Now we are ready. So, just angle it up a little bit. And there is the glass. regulator. I don't know why they call it a regulator. It's, it's, it's the slide for your window. So I'm going to call it that. You got to take these all the way out. I'm just loosening them up. You can take them out by finger after you get them loose. And if you're just really lazy, you can leave that one in there. Just unscrew it a little bit. What's the point of that, right? When you get your new one, there will there'll be three bolts that come along with it. And, you know, you're going to have extra parts after this, which in this case is a good thing, but usually it's not. But there won't be too many. Damn it. Damn it. Line. Still not going to play nice. Okay. There we go. Here's your daddy. Okay. Now we just got to do some gymnastics here. Yeah, it's really not that hard. So we've got the wire, wireless point here. damage that happened on this one. This part in here broke and the thing just popped right out of there again. So, I mean the motor's still good. I don't think I'll be saving it though. No point. Throw it on the ground. Okay, wipe the hands off a little bit. Even though they're going to get nasty again since I picked this other new part up. So as it is right now, it's ready to receive the uh, new regulator. And shortly after the window. Okay, so we're going to shove it in the same way we took it out. We're going to put the big end in first. Wait, yeah, because it's going to sit in here like this. Just like that. Okay, so we're going to the top. Big part anyway. bolt just going to sit in here for you until we get everything in place. Same thing for the motor. So 
level two right down in there. Okay, so we're set to put our screws back in. Bolts, whatever, fasteners. Depends what part of the country you come from. Now, actually, bolt the bolt. Never mind. You screw it in, right? Yeah. Remember, get all your bolts in first before you tighten them down. Come on. Get part. Okay. Oh, you piece of shit. Damn, dude. Okay, that was a pain in the butt last time I had to put this on too, so. Alright, just snug them down a little bit, finger tight. Except with that one. Okay, remember I said there's no adjustment needed, so we can go start tightening this stuff down. Won't over torque it because it's just a little piece of galvanized steel behind it. Just good, good, uh, just get a good little tug there. Good. All right, the motor. Yeah. This parts recycling. Okay. So, stick you right in there. Once again, this is a aluminum body on this, so don't torque it too bad. Just enough to keep it tight. The uh, torque is pretty much handled inside internally, so there's really nothing exerted on the, uh, the frame there. Well, I guess we're ready to shove the uh, okay yeah, power cable. <laughs> you might want to use that, right? I just ran the cable directly along the uh, wall right here. There's another cable down here for the bottom of your actuator or your regulator. Just keep it out of the way of that and should be good. Okay, there's a little piece right here. So we're going to stick that bugger through that hole on the inside. Keeps it in place. Now you can take this thing off put the new one on. I'd go with uh, removing it because in 2003 the part's already about 10 years old. Eh. The back side, you just squeeze the little dimples in. I make it sound so easy, right? Okay. These little parts, there, you can do it by your fingers. You're probably too close. Squeeze them and just pop it out. Yay. Okay, new piece. Pops right in. Okay, so you're right now minus the window, you're ready to go. So we'll take the glass here. And hopefully, oh look at that Honda sets it up just so you can put it back in and the bolts will go right into it. That's so nice. Okay. Yeah.
did have a problem getting this thing in last time. It's right down inside that channel. There we go. We're, we're in place. There we go. Little pop. Okay, now it's sitting right there, ready to be screwed on. You see it? Right there. So you pop your bolts back in it. It should be good. Oh yeah, told you to throw them down inside the door, right? Now here they are, right inside the door. And just go, once you get one started, just go ahead and get it all the way down with your fingers. That way you only take your hands off it. The mirror don't, or the glass doesn't come down on you. And you're free to use both hands on the next side if you need to. Okay, so right in there. Might have to manipulate it a little bit on the window, but nope. Actually, I don't. Got lucky this time. Yay me. Okay. A little snug. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can turn the key on now. This next part's really up to you. If you just want to get back in the van and lower it yourself, feel free. Okay, so it's all the way down now, right? Neat. Now we're going to put the weather strip back in. Now this part is going to jab it down in there. It won't mind. Too much. Why can't I lie? It doesn't like it at all. So. Put this thing back on it. Well, yeah. I guess it will. I should have just left this thing on. There we go. All right. to show you guys how I put the door panel back on just reverse removal unless you just wanted to really see that one part where I get it past this little bit I'm not really sure how to take it off I don't know if I'm gonna mess with it or not yeah I'm not gonna mess with it so uh, good luck hope this helped as much as the brake one did so take care